Just a quick video to check the effect of the FOBO tire pressure monitoring system uh, on the balance of the wheel. Now I got it back from the dealership. First thing we're going to do is check to see how good their balance is. And then we're going to see what the effect is of that uh, tire pressure monitoring system transmitter. Uh, I've just zeroed the scale and um, we're going to have the, the little lock nut, security nut and the transmitter uh, installed on the rim. And as you can see, that's 0.3 of an ounce. So not a heck of a lot. Let's check the balance of the tire now. To balance the wheel, we're going to use the static balance tool from Mark Parnes. This is what I bought from my BMW R1200 RS, but it works just fine with the, uh, with the tracer's wheel. Now we've got it all set up on the uh, two axle stands. And uh, as you can see, the two sides are equidistant from the center of the wheel. And as you can also see, the wheel seems to be statically balanced. So let's have the uh, valve stem at the top. Okay, it's moving. It's stopping, it's going back a little bit. So the valve stem right now is not the heaviest part, part of the tire. Uh, it's at the, as you can see through there, it's at the uh, nine o'clock position. And let's put it here and see what happens. So right now it's probably at the eight o'clock position and it's coming back up. So this tells me that it's slightly off. Okay, let's put it over to the three o'clock position right there. So it's now over on this side in the three o'clock position. Hmm. It's hardly moving. It's pretty darn close. Okay, so the valve stem is in the six o'clock position and it is rotating a bit. Okay. It's rotating. So I think that the heavy part of the, of the tire, of the wheel, is... Let's see. It's going to come back down. Yep. Okay, so I would say that that is probably the heavy part of the, of the, of the rim. Uh, let's put it back up there and see what happens. So it's now at the 12 o'clock position. Yeah, it definitely wants to rotate. Okay. So where are the weights? There is the weight. The weight is right there. I don't know if he moved the weight. I can't remember. I had put an, uh, another weight on when I had the uh, tire pressure sensor mounted before. Um, the clip, the weight clip, clip on weight is there and there is my weight. Let me rotate this around so you can see. Okay, so I've got a weight here because when I put my tire pressure sensor on, I just needed, it was just very slightly off and I needed a weight here. Okay, now this is a new tire. This is a Dunlop Road Smart 3 tire that he had put on and it seems as though It's close, but it's not perfectly balanced. Okay, the valve stem is again at the 
at the nine o'clock position as you can see through there and it's it's not moving and those weights are right here at the two o'clock position so what happens if I put on the, the the tire pressure monitoring system now it'll get heavy so I might have to put more weights on this side okay but right now you can see it's pretty darn close to balance without without that tire pressure monitoring system on it uh, the weights are down here now and uh, as you can see the tire wants to rotate okay the tire wants to rotate so a heavy part of the tire is over there and it's bringing it down and it's going to want to stay at rest when that that valve stem gets to about nine o'clock all right let's put on the sensor and see what happens okay the FOBO tire pressure monitoring system transmitter is back on and now you can see it kind of wants to go down so it does make a difference I mean it is 0.3 of an ounce so let's see where it comes to a rest now I'm not gonna take that clip off because I'm scared of scratching my rims so if I have to put more weights on it's gonna be with that uh, clip on weight in place okay so this spot here is the heaviest spot so that means you need to add weight up here right at the top and we've got a weight up there already my additional weight there's the clip on weight it's at the top now and there's my additional weight up here so what I can do is try and put another weight over here right for myself my own weight Put it up here and see what happens I've put a weight at the top and I'm gonna rotate with that part at three o'clock still going down a bit okay slow that up a little bit I think it's a little bit better let's bring the valve stem to the top moving fairly fast I've got that valve stem at three o'clock again maybe another weight so I'll try another weight up there on that side I think I've hit success I've got two of those weights not too far from the uh, the clip-on weight there and my other added weight is here so what I think I'll do is put three weights right here on the opposite side to the clip-on but as you can see let's 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 do a little test the weights are there tire is not moving yes stop it here the weights are at 12 o'clock tire is not moving the weights gonna be at nine o'clock tires slightly moving <laughs> okay I just stopped it it's not moving so I think it's balanced I'm gonna go rearrange those weights now put all three on this side here and call it a day so what that tells me is that after you install the the FOBO transmitter you've got to do a little bit of a balance uh, a rebalancing of your front tire uh, the back tire maybe not so much because that's a much big, bigger rim and if it was balanced in the first place I don't think you really need to bother with that uh, balance it again uh, the next time you take it off but for the front uh, you probably want to go uh, go ahead and balance it again so I've got uh, as you can see the tire is now moving the weights are in the uh, same location as the clip-on weights there and uh, I didn't bother to move that one 
you know, let sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> so it's got three weights on this side here, kind of looking a little odd, but I don't really care. Uh, it's, it's perfectly balanced now with the FOBO uh, transmitter installed.